Hi, this is one of the first Toyota BZ4Xs in the province of Quebec. I thought I'd show you. I'm actually at a dealership. They're closed right now, so we can't open it and look around really uh, perfectly. But I thought I'd give you a uh, look around anyways. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is uh, it's a beautiful color. It's got these extra you know, pieces of plastic around the wheel wells. Uh, some of you may decide that it's not that pretty. Uh, if you get black on black, it's probably less noticeable, but it is very glossy. So uh, that does stick out. By the way, if you like these videos, of course, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps us out. So we're taking a look at the front here. One of the things you'll notice is there's not much of a grill. The grill is really on the bottom. And of course, that is because there is no uh, real ventilation needed because there's no engine in here. So it doesn't get tremendously hot. Most of the ventilation is to support the battery to keep it at a specific temperature. Uh, if we move on to the side here, one of the things you'll notice is the charging bay. And let me give you some additional comments here. Uh, the window, and I thought it was just an illusion, but in person it looks very narrow. And I can tell you it's a, an inch and a half less than a RAV4. So it you know, definitely is smaller. The other thing is the clearance to the ground uh, is also at, at least a couple inches less than um, the RAV4. I mean, I went compared it to a RAV4 here on the lot and it is closer to the ground. So. Let's take a quick look at the back. So this, of course, is a pure EV and it's available in both all wheel drive and front wheel drive. So let's go to the back. So one of the things you'll notice in the back is you get no wiper on this uh, SUV. So it's going to be like, a, I guess, a car. If you have a you know, Camry and so forth, you didn't have a wiper. Well, you don't get one of those uh, with the BZ4X. Uh, again, this is the higher end. This is the XLE, the uh, tech edition. And that's why you've got this beautiful blue. Uh, it comes in various colors, of course. And, uh, you know, no tailpipes and so forth. Uh, the car overall is, I believe, a couple of, like an inch and a half or a couple of inches longer. And it is slightly wider as well than a for if you want to compare it. Again, when you're standing next to it, it does seem smaller because it is shorter, um, but that's uh, just an illusion at this point. So I'm not going to talk about horsepower, obviously compared to a RAV4 Prime, for example, that I've reviewed to in, in the past. Uh, it, it has less horsepower. Um, I'd have to compare the torque. I haven't looked at that, but uh, we'll have another video on that specifically. And of course, as soon as we get our hands on one, we'll show you the inter the inside. Um, apart from that, the only other thing I'd mention is um, some of the models, uh, especially in Canada, if you're getting front wheel drive, you will end up with no moonroof in Canada. Uh, the US models are a little different. You get to choose if you want all wheel drive or front wheel drive, and you can mix and match a lot better in the US market than you can in Canada. Um, talking about the front wheel drive and all wheel drive, the huge difference is the battery. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about the uh, you know, I guess ranges and so forth, because I haven't tried those out yet, but I'm expecting about 400 kilometers out of uh, front wheel drive. And in the winter, it's gonna drop at least to 300. In my estimate, I have no idea at this point, I'm completely guessing. And because they're saying probably 30%, uh, we'll find out the hard way. So it does charge uh, level two and level three, so you can charge it at home. Um, It'll take quite a while, and still you should be getting a decent range out of it. So I'm Bob Peller and CTO Bob. We'll see you in the next video. Write some comments below. We love reading those.